Okay, your turn to do this one here. Um, let's say uh, we've got a sun shining um, down on a building and it casts a shadow. Um, oh, the uh, the shadow. Let, let, let's say um, the shadow's length is um, uh, let's let's say uh, uh, eighty meters. Okay. So um, so so the, sh the, sh the length of the shadow is eighty meters across here. Uh, what what is the height of the building? So rather than climbing up the building, we we could measure the angle here. Um, or not sure how you would measure the angle, the um, the the uh, the, uh, the ray, but but there, there must be some sort of instrument out there that that can measure this angle here, and uh, and and then measure the the length of the shadow, which is eighty meters. So from from this, how how, how would you work out the um, the uh, the height of the building? So uh, press pause and have a go. So here, um, this is in effect our our right angle triangle. Okay, um, the sun in our case uh, would be here. Um, the uh, the sea would be here. Um, so uh, what's well, we want to work out x. So x will be here. Remember that the hypotenuse is not in play. So the sun, uh, you, well, you see a sign to heaven, okay, and then you get a sun tan. Well, this is in play. This is in play. Well, if, if you look at the sign, well, the hypotenuse is not in play, so so it can't be sine. It has to be um, it has to be uh, tan. So we know it's tan. So it would be tan tan the angle, which is um, thirty nine equals um, equals x over remember because we start here and then it shines down and it and it hits the adjacent so it'd be over eighty. So we want to know what x is so times both sides by eighty. Uh, so eighty tan uh, thirty nine. So that x x represents the height of our building. So uh, x equals eighty tan thirty nine. If you really want to know, punch this into your calculator. It will give you uh, an answer and then times it by 8. Okay?